How's everybody doing today? I have four pickups and they're all blind buys, so I haven't seen them. And I'm hoping they're going to be good. They look interesting and they pique my interest. So if you guys have seen any of these movies, definitely let me know what you think of them. And let me know if you think I'll like them and if it was worth the blind buy purchase. And three of them are Criterion collections as well. I love Criterions. They take such great pride in their releases. And a lot of times they offer special features and commentary that are exclusive to Criterion. And first up is Equinox right here from 1970, a sci-fi movie. I've heard some interesting things about it, so I decided to check it out. Dennis Murray is the visual effects artist on here. He won nine Oscars for visual effects. He's worked on Star Wars and Jurassic Park, E.T., Flesh Gordon, Inner Space, T2, Ghostbusters 2, Willow, Empire of the Sun, AI, Twister, Temple of Doom, tons of stuff. He's a legend in the visual effects field. And it'll be interesting to check out some of his early work on here. This was actually the first thing that he ever worked on. So it's pretty cool to see how far he's come since this. And this is a two disc edition. It also includes Equinox, A Journey into the Supernatural, which I believe was like kind of an unedited, unfinished version of the film uh, that was made three years prior to the actual theatrical release of Equinox in 1970. A Journey into the Supernatural was made in 1967. Here's the booklet in here in disc one, and there's disc two, and that looks pretty awesome right there. Kind of looks like a sci-fi creature feature kind of flick. Kind of reminds me of uh, Ray Harryhausen kind of stop motion effects right here with this creature right there. But a pretty nice thick booklet right there. This kind of looks like a character from the original Star Trek series. I can't remember the name of it though. This looks like cheesy awesome fun right here. I love cheesy sci-fi flick. And the finalized one from 1970 is 11 minutes longer than the original 1967 cut. But it will be cool to check out both versions and see the differences. Next up is Barbette Schroeder's General Idi Amin Dada, a self-portrait. He was the Uganda dictator. Uh, some genocide going on there. 300,000 people died under his reign. I've always been curious to see this, just see how he is. It's just interesting to see figures like this. I just think this will be a cool introspective on a well-known world figure, a dictator. Apparently it's supposed to be very candid, so I can't wait to check this out. And this documentary has the full support of General Idi Amin, and apparently he does the accordion score on here as well. And this is another Criterion release, and this came out in 1974. And next up is Hollow Man with Elizabeth Shue. Mwah! Still gorgeous after all these years. And Kevin Bacon. I don't know too much about this, but my buddy on here, Silent Mike, he told me to check it out. I've heard mostly negative reviews about this. Basically all I know is they're testing out some kind of thing that makes people invisible and Kevin Bacon decides to try it out and I guess he becomes evil or something. I don't really know too much about it. And I think everybody can relate to this storyline because I think everybody's imagined what it would be like to be invisible and what they would do. I think most people would probably like rob a bank or something if they were invisible, but it seems like a cool concept and storyline so hopefully it'll be interesting. So let me know what you guys think about it if you've seen it. And next up is Wood Stillman's The Last Days of Disco. And he did Metropolitan, which I enjoyed, so I figured I would check this out as well. And this is a Criterion release from 1998. and stars Chloe Sevigny and Kate Beckinsale. And it's set in the early 80s in Manhattan. And they go to Studio 54 like clubs. And they try to find romance. And they try to find themselves, essentially. That's what I've gathered from the excerpt on the back so far and what I've read about it. And I'm a big fan of both actresses. I like Chloe Sevigny from Kids, in which she was American Psycho. And, of course, Brown Bunny. Who could forget Brown Bunny? But personally, I loved the soundtrack for Brown Bunny. John Frusciante, oh, an amazing soundtrack for Brown Bunny. That movie may not be for everybody, though. Just throw that out there. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Vincent Gallo, Chloe Seven G. You know. And again, I enjoyed Witt Stillman, so I figured I'd pick it up and check it out. So those are my four pickups, all blind buys. I haven't seen them before, and hopefully they'll be enjoyable for me. If you guys have seen them, let me know what you think. I hope everybody's doing well. 